Yo, Whistler Gaming here, and today I've got you an absolute banger of a video. Now, this is a diamond camo nuke in every single card that has diamond camo. Now, this video, I've been wanting to do it for a long time now, but I actually don't have diamond camo in all of the cards because I've been on PlayStation, Xbox, I've had multiple accounts, so I just don't have it all on one account that I can access straight away. So, I've had to borrow some gameplay off my good mate Rampage. I'll leave a link to his clan's channel in the description. If you can go and check that out, leave it, drop it a sub. I'd really appreciate it, and so would he. But anyway, getting into this video, we're going to be kicking it off with Black Ops 2. Now, this was the first Call of Duty to introduce diamond camo into Call of Duty. Now, to unlock this camo, all you had to do was get gold on every single weapon that was in a specific class. So, if you wanted diamond assault rifles, you'd have to get every single assault rifle gold. And then you'd get diamond for it. And then if you did it for all the guns in this game, you wouldn't get a special camo. But as you know, as the cards progress, you actually got like Dark Matter camo. And in Infinite Warfare, you've got Black Sky. Oh, you got Dark Matter, but I still don't have Black Sky because it is just complete aids to get. But in Black Ops 2, diamond camo. Now, this is probably the sexiest camo of all time. I think a lot of people would agree with this. And I think most people, this is their favorite camo. It's just so sexy. You've got the gold and then you've got the diamonds on top of it. It's just so nice. Like, some of the other ones are just nowhere near as flashy as this. And I think if you're going to make a camo that is so hard to grind for, you just have to make it look like a banger like this. Now, for me, this is my favourite and this is the first I ever made. So, they keep trying to change it. I don't get why they haven't kept it similar to this camo in the other cards. I mean, Black Ops Freeze was kind of similar, but it's nowhere near as shiny and sexy as this camo. But... Let me know in the comments down below whether you think this is the best diamond camo as well. And we'll be able to compare and see which one's the best overall. But yeah, moving into the next card, we've got Advanced Warfare. Now, this was the second game to actually put diamond camo in the game. And it's probably one of the most disappointing diamond camos you could actually get. Now, this one, it's really... I didn't mind it at the time. Compared to the royalty camo that's in the game, I actually think it's a lot better than that. And that's even harder to get. So to get Diamond in Advanced Warfare, all you had to do was um, the equivalent of getting it gold in Black Ops 2. So you just had to do all of the camos for that specific gun and you'd get Diamond Camo on it. Now that is not hard at all and the camo you got kind of showed. It was literally just the, the, the... It didn't even look like diamonds, that was a thing. It just looked like loads of little studs. And yeah, it wasn't great. I didn't actually mind it, I preferred it to the royalty as I just said. But overall, it wasn't. It was probably about a six or a seven out of ten. Black Ops Two, that was either that's a nine or ten out of ten. It was sexy. But this one, a bit of a disappointment. I mean, Sledgehammer did their best considering they never really made a Call of Duty on their own, and the last one they did help make was MW3, so there were no diamond camos in that. But still, even like the gold camo, the royalty camo, all the camos in Advanced Warfare were kind of disappointing to be honest. Some of the DLC ones are pretty sexy, but Diamond Camo, nah, not that great. So let's move into Black Ops 3. Now Black Ops 3, this was the first game I got Diamond Camo in because it was my first card that I played that had Diamond Camo. And yeah, for me it was the sexiest when it first came out. When it first came out, if you play Black Ops 3, you'll know how sexy it looks. It was so nice. It looked, it was even better than Black Ops 2's. It was the same amount of diamonds, same amount of gold, but it was next gen, so it looked sexy. But then they nerfed it. They they made diamond camo look horrible. And that's because they messed up the dark matter. They actually made it so the dark matter was worse than the diamond camo. So no one at the time at the start of the game was wanting to grind for dark matter because it looked so crap. It didn't move and it just it just looked like a black camo. It was horrible. But then they changed that and made it look really nice. And then they made the diamond camo look horrible. So people were going for that dark matter camo. But the diamond camo at the end of the game, it was, wasn't was too bad, but it just, it didn't pop out like the Black Ops 2 one, it wasn't, it didn't, wasn't really eye-catching, it was a bit boring, like after you got it, you used it for about a week, and then you're like, nah, I need dark matter, so you just move on and never use diamond camo again. But um, overall, I'd probably give it 7 or 8 out of 10, it was pretty sexy, not gonna lie, but yeah, let's move into Infinite Warfare, the most hated card ever, and this camo... And diamond in this game, they also had to change it. At the start of the game, it looked crap. And then now, it's still... No, I think they've changed it three times in Infinite Warfare. I think at the start of the game, it looked crap. Then they made it look decent. It was like, like kind of like the ice camo. But I, don't, I can't really remember. Like Infinite Warfare, they just change it all the time. And it's just crap. 
but yeah, and now it's like, it's really metally. It doesn't really look like diamonds whatsoever. It's like a mirror. It's like looking into loads of, a mirror with loads of angles on it. It's not like a diamond at all. But I actually think it's really sexy. It doesn't look like diamond. It shouldn't be called diamond. It should be called reflection or something like that. Because it doesn't, as I've said, it doesn't look like a diamond camo. But it is a sexy camo. I can't deny that. So I would give it probably a 7 or an 8. So I would draw it with Black Ops 3 Diamond Camo. I think they're very different camos, but the same sexiness for different reasons. But it's been the Giving 8. I do hope you enjoy this video. It's taken me quite a while to make. If you think I should do this about like any other COD, so um, maybe Gold Camo in the older COD, because I know COD 4 Gold Camo was sexy. MW3 Gold Camo was sexy, so I could maybe compare some of them. And I could also do the Dark Matter versus Black Sky and versus Royalty Camo like that. But yeah, I, I also forgot to mention, so in Advanced Warfare, you um, you just had to get, you have to do the equivalent to get it gold to get diamond. And then in Black Ops 3, you had to get all of the guns gold in that specific class to get diamond. So it was like a pretty big grind because there was a lot of assault rifles. And then Infinite Warfare, you have to do the same, you have to get every assault rifle gold. Now, in Infinite Warfare, is a pain because some of the assault rifles are just crap. Like, you've got the Volk and the R3K, and you just don't want to use those guns. They're boring. You can't get nukes of them, so you don't want to use them. It's just, I find it a real pain to go for Diamond in Infinite Warfare. That's why you're watching Rampage's gameplay. He's an absolute legend for letting me have it. It's like a 78 second or the Atomizer Strike, which is absolutely insane. But if you did enjoy this video, definitely smash the like button. Tell me which is your favorite diamond camo of all time down in the comments and i'll be sure to check them all out but yeah as i said it's been the gibbonator and i'll see you in the next video peace